Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to add a wipe reveal effect to a logo image in DaVinci Resolve 17.1. Inside your edits window, hold Ctrl and press I to insert your logo image file. Use command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Inside your media pool master bin, find the thumbnail of your chosen logo file. Click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner when you hover your mouse cursor over this to reveal the clip attributes. The frame rate for this particular logo PNG image file is 24. The frames per second value will help us determine the length that our wipe reveal transition will run in our video. Click on the image thumbnail and drag this to the start of your edits timeline. Using the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A, Adjust the length of the image file by clicking on the end of the edit and dragging your mouse cursor. By default, your original image file should last for 5 seconds of screen time. Go to Effects Library. Underneath Toolbox, select Video Transitions. Scroll down to Fusion Transitions. To find Noise Dissolve, click and drag one of these filters to the start of your logo image edit. Select the new white rectangular transition edit. Go to Inspector and underneath Transition, we can see the transition's duration. One second of screen time should be suitable for this particular wipe reveal transition. For the purpose of making this transition effect more significant in this particular tutorial, I will increase the duration here by 0.3 seconds. Underneath Effect Noise Dissolve, ensure that version 1 remains selected. In order to identify how the logo will be revealed on screen, we first need to identify the edge of the noise dissolve effect. In order to see this on our preview screen, tick border, keep the color as white, go back to your edit timeline and drag the red playhead back to the middle of the noise dissolve transition edit. We can now see the form of this dissolve effect and how the logo will be revealed in the final video. This white border will only be used in the editing process in this tutorial. In order to enhance the fade effect of this particular dissolve filter, return to your inspector window and adjust the softness variable. In this particular case here, I will add more of a blur to the edge of this dissolve effect by increasing softness to 0.15. To have the waves make sudden vertical adjustments in your animation, increase the animation value. In this particular case here, I will only make a slight increase to 0.25. If you wish to remove the wave format of your noise dissolve filter, click on noise, change detail to zero for a linear white reveal effect. If you increase this value on the other hand, you will add a smoke effect to the edge of your transition. In this particular case here, I will keep the detail level at one. What if you wanted to change the direction that these waves flow in? On your edit timeline, right click on your noise dissolve edit and go to open infusion page. Inside your nodes panel, find the noise dissolve container. Create some space below fast noise one inside of this by clicking on and dragging the edge of this box downwards. Select and drag fast noise one down slightly so that there is space for one more node in between that and dissolve one. Ensure that Fast Noise 1 is still selected. Hold Shift and press Space. To open up the Select Tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find the Transform XF tool. Select this and go to click on Add. With this Transform 1 node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, find the Angle variable. Adjusting this angle will modify the direction that the Wipe Reveal effect will go. Return to your Edits window. With the Noise Dissolve Edit selected, return to Inspector and underneath Controls, untick Border to remove the white line. This particular transition effect can also be used on logo image edits placed in video tracks above other coloured image or video edits placed in video tracks below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.